So here we have a basic circuit, two resistors. There's a few ways to draw resistors, by the way. Uh, you can do a squiggly line or a box like that. Anyway, we have two resistors connected to a cell. 2 ohm, 4 ohm. Good to know. Which graph shows the, how the potential varies between x and y? So x is this point here, y is over here. How does potential vary? Hmm. You want to think about this thing. Whenever you go across a component, you lose energy. And because you lose energy, um, there is what we call a voltage drop. Like what we looked at just now, you know, all the thing drop down, fine. Voltage drop. And that is what we call the potential difference, like, aka potential difference. So let's see, if you start off with here, if your battery has some very high potential, you'll be V here, V, 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 V. Once you come to here, it will start to decrease because you will measure a potential difference here. So, mm, does not look right. Like A, A, A and B is not correct. Decreasing, decreasing. Okay, yeah. So, when you go across the first resistor, you will drop. Okay, so drop a bit, drop a bit. Okay, C and D is okay. Then when you go to this part, oh, yo, so thick. When you go to the in the section in the middle, the wire here, this part we have no potential drop because nothing ma, it's just a wire, no loss of energy, no change in energy. So then there's flat. Okay, so I have both also correct. Then you come to here again. Oh, so you have another drop here. Another potential difference. You measure, you have drop even lower. So drop, 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 drop. How do you decide whether it's C or D? They pretty much look the same. Hmm. Do you spot the difference between the two graphs? It's kind of like related to their gradient. So, if you look at the resistance here, 2 ohms and 4 ohms, which one do you think will have a bigger drop? Oh, this one, smaller resistance. So you have a smaller potential difference or smaller drop. Because it need less, it will use up less energy. Ma. This one is a bigger resistance. So if you measure across it, you measure across the PD here, it will be a bigger drop. So look at this one. This one is a big drop. Then a small drop. Hmm, not quite right. Nope. I bet it's D. D, you start off with a small drop because of only 2 ohm resistance. And then a bigger resistance, so a bigger drop. So yeah, that's how you can think of it. Just remember, as you go around, potential is dropping. And because it's dropping, you will have a potential difference if you measure across, let's say, here and here. That's the PD. Alright, that's the first one.